Good morning and welcome to Broken Mitsubishi. My name is Joel and today we're going to be doing a walk around of this 2018 Model Year 19 Holden Special Vehicle Colorado Sports Gap Plus. Now that's quite a mouthful and I mean the, the car kind of speaks for itself being a little bit of a mouthful because you don't really see many of these cars on the road. I mean personally myself I haven't really seen very many at all. It is a special edition model that Colorado, or sorry, Holden have released in the Colorado range, and it's got tons of unique features. Now, I'm not going to be able to list them all, unfortunately. Uh, however, I will list the stuff that I can uh, see and also notice. So we're going to be doing a quick walk around of the car, running over the features that I can see. A uh, qu quick rundown of the condition of the car as well, being the exterior and also the interior. So... As you can see by the front of the car, it has a very unique grille and also just the front counterpart of the vehicle itself. Now, it does have uh, two red tow hooks on the very front there, which is very unique, but just makes the car pop a fair bit. Now, it also has a front parking sensors located uh, on the very front there as well. So, very handy and nifty to have on this one. We do have a special emblem on the very front as well, which is, looks like your HSV emblem too. Uh, so, it's very, very nice. The vehicle does look like it has a, like a wide body kit on it as well with a little bit of a hood, um, sorry, a roof, a hood skirt or whatever it would be on the very front there. Looks very, very nice and also appealing to the vehicle too. So very handy on this one. Now coming through, we uh, do have our front parking sensors, which are located on the very front, color matched, which is very handy to have too. So you can't even notice that they're actually there. Now we do have a red painted uh, brake calipers on this vehicle with our alloys. Uh, which are your 18 inch alloys which is pretty nifty and just add to the look of the vehicle as well now we do have gloss black wing mirrors with also our gloss black door handles in this vehicle as well and we do have like a sticker pack um, which is your sports car edition which is very nifty adds to the car um, it just makes it look very nice on the top we do have our roof rails and also our unique sports bar on this vehicle too uh, which you can see just by the back and also a hard lid on this vehicle too which is also lockable too now, just having a quick back peer at the paintwork, it is in very good condition on this vehicle. We do also have a unique side skirt on this vehicle too. Very nifty to get up and down in, makes it nice. Now, just having a quick peer into the interior here, <coughs> door trim has ver uh, a very good amount of storage space. We do have our uh, like reddish or an orangey stitch uh, with your leather feel on the interior. It's a very, very tough leather though too, so it would withstand a lot of wear which is very handy yeah, in the door trim here as well we do have a little carpet so stop any rattling if you have anything in there too but a good amount of storage in there as well uh, just on our floor mats we do have genuine sports cat floor mats in this vehicle which is pretty nifty to have and it's it's pretty handy especially when they've probably been purchased since new so they've been really really well looked after which is good to have just having a quick pan on the interior of the vehicle now we do have like a leather with a micro suede kind of surface on the seats themselves across the front and also the back now the front does have seat warmers in it which is pretty handy to have uh, which are located in the very center compartment just in there so continuing through now now the paintwork on this vehicle is in a very very good condition now it's one of those ones that i would highly recommend if you're going to be buying this vehicle uh, and investing a good amount into your investment you i would highly recommend going for a hydro protection package so you would protect yourself on the exterior interior and also get window tint included under that package just because we've got privacy glass from the factory from this vehicle um, and then you'd be covered for a lifetime warranty and all of those additional extras just purely because this vehicle falls under that category now, door trim on the rear here is in pretty good condition as well. A very good amount of storage space uh, for any drink bottles there. And behind the passengers and also the driver's side, we do have extra storage on behind the seats. In the very center compartment there, uh, sorry, I'm gonna come back a little bit more. Um, we do have a 12 volt adapter in there as well, uh, which is pretty handy to have. So if you've got any kids with any iPads in the back, uh, you're able to have those, not a problem. Now in our, we do have mats in the back here too, which is your flow through which is very handy now there is a little bit of storage space underneath the seats as well however they're pretty hard to kind of get to with uh, one hand with the camera so i'll leave those out for a moment continuing through we do have our side skirt over here as well so just adding to the body kit of the vehicle itself so if you have a look down the line of the car it's, itself you can see it's in very very good nick there rear left hand tire over here is in very good condition yet again no gutter rash or anything like that noticeable on that rim. Uh, it's another one of the 18 inch alloys, which is pretty, pretty nifty. 
coming around and having a quick peer at the back of the vehicle, you can just see the, the black and the white definitely adds to the aggressive look of this vehicle. So very, very good looking car. Now we do have our Colorado uh, badge on the very back there with a blackout that goes from left to right straight across there. Now I'll see if I can open this one up whilst I've got you in my hands. I don't think I'm going to be able to because it looks like it might be a two-handed job. So I'll open that up in just a moment for you. Continuing around, we do have our rear parking sensors located on the very bottom of this vehicle too. Um, so you do have the ability to get, get into those very hard places if need be. Continuing around on our back right hand tire over here, it's in a very good condition yet again. So I'll have a quick peer on that one for you so you can have a little bit of a look. And we've got our sports cat sticker on the very back right hand corner just there as well. So flowing through, we do have our sticker kit that goes pretty well on this particular vehicle itself too. Just peering into the back seat over here, yet again, very similar storage space from the other right hand side too. It's in very good condition too there. Now I'll see if I can actually get the other side of the seat up for you as well, which I can, however, not gonna be unfortunately able to get that up. Very good amount of storage there though, if you do need it. We do have top tether for your baby seats in this particular vehicle as well. Flowing through on the driver's side over here, it's in very good condition yet again. Um, the black mirrors and also the black door handles just look very, very nice. Continuing through, now our front right hand tire over here, we'll go through the driver's side in just a sec. Just gonna grab the keys really quickly to see if I can get the back open for you too. Now, the red calipers, they just pop. That's all I can say. They look very, very nice on this particular vehicle. So let's come around and see if I can open up this back for you while I've got you. May be able to get it, may not be. I won't be able to get that one up on a camera, so my apologies about that. However, you will be able to see in the photos uh, from what is located in the very back of the car. Driver's side door trim over here is in very good condition. Yet again, you have your carpet on the bottom just to stop any rattling. So if you have anything like that on the very uh, in your door trim, it's very handy to have there. Now we do have our mats flowing through yet again with our sports cap mats which is just very nifty to have uh, you know that they're genuine you know they work for the vehicle and they also clip in as well so it's very safe um, if you're going to be driving with your mats let's jump in have a little bit of a look at the interior itself and we'll go over all the features so just need to move this seat slightly backwards so bear with me for one sec it is your electric seat in the driver's side over here as well now let's turn on the accessories for you. So we do have two keys on this particular vehicle, which is very handy. Um, not many cars nowadays have two keys, so it's very rare to have. Turn off this uh, climate control settings. Alrighty, so having a quick peer into here. Now it does say fuel level low, so I have left it a little low, so apologies about that. However, I will start it up so you can see that um, none of the lights are actually on. It's just a matter of just turning the accessories in the vehicle itself. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, we do have our forward collision mitigation, uh, which is what it's called from uh, other manufacturers. It's just emergency braking a lot of the time. Um, we do have our on and off for our cruise control over here too. So cruise control settings on the right-hand side. Left-hand side over here, we have our volume source controls and also our mute um, and our phone controls too. So all located on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Now, also on the left, we do have our wipers. Um, so located on the very back over here and our lights. Uh, on the very far right here, which we do have auto lights on this particular vehicle and indicators on the right as well So very very handy Entertainment system is uh, pretty good in this particular vehicle So you have lots of accessories um, and also options available for you So your projection from your phone, you've got navigation built in Sorry, I'm a little bit higher there Navigation built in, so you've got projection from your phone, um, audio settings Everything kind of built in. Climate control settings are slightly lower, which is very handy um, in this particular vehicle. So if you turn this one on, I can kind of check our fan speed and everything like that. Uh, works very, very well. Now we do have our lane departure warning located a little bit lower. Uh, traction control settings, hill descent, um, and our parking sensors. And then this is where down the very bottom here, we do have plenty of adapters. So if you're wanting to charge multiple phones, you have that option available, just because it doesn't look like there's any USB ports that I've been able to particularly find. However, you have two 12 volt adapters, so you can have four USBs plugged in if you wanted to get double adapters. So very, very handy. Center, center here, we do have our four wheel drive settings and controls are located via 
a little bit of a knob just here, which is pretty handy to have. Cup holders in the very center, um, which you'll be able to see when I come down. There we are, the camera's just taking its time, sorry. And then in the very center compartment here, this is where, uh, sorry, your a USB AUX cord is um, in the very center compartment. So it's very dark, and I apologize about that. The, the lighting's just not fixing itself on the camera today. And then up the very top here, we do have our sunglasses compartment um, located in the very roof there. And our all of our sun visors and everything. So just have a quick pan around the dash for you just to give you a good understanding. There we are. So apologies I couldn't get over the hard lid in this particular video. However, if you would like to get some more photos on it, um, please just ask our friendly staff and we'll be happy to attend that for you. Um, if you do have any questions about this particular vehicle, please feel free to contact us at 9907-0555. Or um, if you'd like to see this vehicle, it is located at 20-32 Kangen Drive in Berwick. My name's Joel and thank you for watching this walk around video.